welcome or hi again, man. Um, this is Maddie and Karen uh, from Mad Wellness and Go Primal by Karen. Cool, and we're here. Um, food can be like freaking overwhelming. The, the idea of we get the micro concepts, the small of like, okay, what are what's good food? Maybe what's gonna be less serviceable food? But thinking about a whole day can be super overwhelming. So today we wanted to kind of like take that guesswork out of the equation and just show you what a day in the life can look like. Uh, and it just so happens that Karen and I eat very similarly. So we're gonna kind of tag team on a day. Um, but this is just an option. This is a template for you going forward. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys some uh, practical tips on what to actually eat day in and day out. So I'm gonna start with breakfast and I like to keep it super traditional and start off with some a good source of fat and that's some yummy bacon from Nyman Ranch. Um, and then I'll have some pastured eggs. This is a local Colorado company. And uh, the pastured eggs are gonna have more nutrition, so it's definitely worth the higher price tag. So I will break out my cast iron skillet, throw in a couple slices of bacon, let that cook a little while, drain off a little bit of the fat, and then just cook my eggs right there in the same pan. Um, and then I'll add some uh, Maddie has these really beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Um, I'll do tomatoes because they're super fast and I love them. Um, and I'll just slice a few of that and add that on there. Um, and then I'll also have like a, my hot beverage of choice is some hot tea. And then I'll blend in some coconut butter and actually some collagen, which we have here, um, which is going to give you another um, hit of protein. And then the coconut butter here makes it a little bit creamy so you can have that creamy feeling without any dairy. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm very similar. I love me some eggs and bacon in the morning. Um, I like can't have eggs plain. So uh, I like to get some color and a, and a condiment in there and I just have some pesto that I whipped up which is pretty much just basil, olive oil, um, and some nuts. Um, I'm also a fan of Sir Kensington ketchup. So just basically when I look for a ketchup or a condiment, I want to go through and be like, oh, what's in here? And cane syrup or corn syrup is the first ingredient, not cane syrup, sorry, cane sugar. Um, I usually go for something else. Um, but yeah, I don't know, that's breakfast. I try to make breakfast easy and heavy in protein and fat. Definitely. Uh, cool. So let's see, moving on to lunch. Um, I am like a super green smoothie kick and I have mixed feelings about smoothies. Uh, smoothies can be awesome because they're so easy and they're a great way to sneak in vegetables. Um, they can also be like a super huge burst of sugar if you're doing all fruit in your smoothie with no fat or protein to balance it out. So I tend to do heavy on the green. So right here I have some, um, some frozen Swiss chard or frozen oh, spinach or frozen kale. Um, or I'll do fresh of any of those if I have them. And then I usually just do like a quarter cup of fruit. So if that's um, some cherries or some strawberries, berries are gonna be a little lower in sugar. Um, and then I love to throw in like a hunk of ginger. I have a Vitamix so I could like put my cell phone in my smoothie and it would be fine. Um, but this just disappears to nothing and is nice and spicy and a great anti-inflammatory. And then I also love to throw in some lemon, really wonderful detoxer and antioxidant. And with a high power blender, you can just like stick a whole chunk skin and all, which is awesome. And this ginger is really gonna help um, settle your stomach too, if you're having any sort of nausea or anything. For sure, yeah. Uh, if you overdo the ginger, <laughs> then your stomach feels like it's on fire, but it's kind of fun. Um, and then I also throw in a little bit of green powder because it's a great way to just get an extra boost of greenness and yeah. vitamins and minerals. Um, I tend to make my own almond milk and there's a great recipe on my blog that's super easy if you go to Mad Wellness. Um, but this way I know that there's like no shenanigans in my almond milk. I know exactly what's in it. It's just water, almonds, and sea salt. Um, but there are some, some brands that don't have a ton in there. Um, or you could do canned coconut milk and a little bit of water. Um, the other thing that I always pay attention to when I'm eating a smoothie is that um, I like to eat it with a spoon so that way I'm not gulping it. That way my body processes like, oh right, you're chewing. You're actually going through the process of eating. And I also like to have my protein on the side. So I might actually do some eggs on the side or any other protein that I have around. 
That sounds perfect. I like the idea of um, using a spoon. Yeah, it's kind of, and it like feels like a delicious treat. <laughs> so cool. So that's breakfast, and then, so let's move along to lunch. So something that I'll always have in my uh, refrigerator are these Nyman Ranch sausages. They're pre-cooked, so all you have to do is just slice it up and saute it in your pan, and then I'll add whatever vegetables I have in the refrigerator. So here we have some zucchini. You can do um, some sweet potato. If you dice it really, really small, then it'll cook a lot faster. Um, but sometimes you just don't have time for this, so you can leave it out. Um, and that's basically it. So slice them all up, saute them, and that's a super easy lunch um, when you don't have a lot of time. And I think this is a great example throughout the day, how you can um, be cooking fresh daily, but you aren't actually cooking every single thing from scratch. And yeah. that's one thing that I love to always have are some, some emergency proteins, or not even emergency, some well-planned proteins that I don't actually have to go through the process of like cooking a raw chicken breast. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good point. I also like take this whole bacon and just um, put it on a sheet tray and cook them all at once. And then I'll have my bacon ready to roll for the week. So I can just pull out a couple slices and I'll just like dice it up and put it in my scrambled eggs. Cool. Love it. Um, dinner, I tend to do like a honkin' salad. Salad gets bad reps because you kind of think of them as like, it's just lettuce and it's sad. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Sa I don't think of like a Not entree. many salads. Yeah. I take <laughs> salads very seriously. Um, an entree like on top of greens. So I have like some gorgeous, um, just romaine lettuce actually, um, or, you know, there's so many good lettuce mixes that you can buy pre-washed at the grocery store. Um, so I'll do something like that. Um, I love canned salmon. It's a great source of omega-3s, which are going to be anti-inflammatory. Um, go for the wild because that's going to be higher in your omega-3 content. So higher in anti-inflammatory and just better sourced. Um, I might throw like half of an avocado on there. Yeah, if you get that. Yeah, for sure. And then cut up some raw carrot. Um, you know, add something crunchy, something sweet. Um, I love to throw seeds on top. And then dressing, I keep really simple. So I'll grab a high quality extra virgin olive oil and it pays to pay a little bit more because it tastes like something. Mm -hmm. So I'll do extra virgin olive oil and maybe some really good balsamic. And that's pretty much it, or extra virgin olive oil and some lemon. Yeah, I love the lemon juice and uh, olive oil. So good. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds great, Maddie. Um, so a little bit, of, maybe after dinner, you want a little bit of like a treat or something. We both really love the Hail Mary macaroons. So if you read the ingredient label, super clean, coconut oil, coconut. Uh, what some almond flour, vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. They're really delicious and you can find them at the grocery store. So a little sweet treat. And then before I go to bed at night, I have my own little cocktail, I call it, but it's basically just this product, which is called Natural Calm. And it's just magnesium. And so magnesium helps you relax and fall asleep. Um, so I have it, you know, actually right before I go to bed. Um, you can either do it hot or cold, depending on what you like. And that's how I like to end my evening. Um, other beverages throughout the day, um, I don't know if you guys have seen LaCroix, it's just sparkling water and they have all different flavors but there's no sugar added so um, there's like grapefruit, passion fruit, mango, all different flavors. You can find these anywhere, Target, Costco. Um, I'll also have, Maddie has some great kombucha here which is a fermented beverage which is going to help um, get some good probiotics into your gut. So I'll have a little swig of that throughout the day. Other than that, I'll just have filtered water. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, maybe some tea. I know you drink coffee. I do. Like one cup. It's kind of like <laughs> rocket fuel for me. Nothing wrong with coffee, but again, making sure it's from a good source, organic if possible, to cut down on any toxins. Um, yeah. Um, bone broth can be another really wonderful thing to sip throughout the day, especially if it's cold out. Um, really healing and wonderful for the gut. Um, filled with good minerals um, and then just one other thing we wanted to chat about a little bit was stuff we we talked about a little bit but what we cook with throughout the day mm -hmm. um, so olive oil is a great lower heat cooking oil um, but I use it honestly mostly for dressing Me too. Yeah. Um, ghee or butter is going to be your better medium to higher heat cooking fat um, ghee just has all the milk solids removed so if you're sensitive to dairy this can be a really wonderful choice I am so I go for ghee um, 
There's a bunch of really phenomenal brands out there. This is Owen Gee, and they're awesome. I, I love their stuff. Um, Fatworks is a phenomenal company that does all pastured and grass-fed um, animal fats. So this is just pure lard, and it's awesome. Um, so that's really good for high heats, right? Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. high heats. And then coconut oil is another really wonderful high heat. And it kind of just, like, your fat gets to be your flair. It kind of ties everything together, and it's a really interesting flavor piece to add to your cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so coconut oil, make sure you look for the unrefined. Um, and I like it, like if I'm making a stir fry or something, it gives it a nice coconutty flavor. So that's sort of like a typical day for all of us. I don't know if we missed anything here to talk about. I think we hit it all. I think so. I think the big thing is like, it can be more, I think this is can be a lot of food. Like it's surprising that we eat this much food. Um, but we have really wonderful sources of protein throughout the day, really wonderful sources of fats, a lot of color, a lot of green. But I think when push comes to shove, a normal day in the life for us is pretty simple. Like, yeah, I keep it simple. I love simple. It doesn't have to be complicated to be delicious and super nourishing. Absolutely. All right, until next time, this is Karen and Maddie signing off. Yay, thank you. Thanks.